Hey everyone, Reynolds here. Now, a couple of years ago, I showed you a video. I created a video. I didn't show you a video. That would be kind of weird. How to write out to the console in Visual Studio Code using Python in a clean manner. That approach doesn't really work the same way anymore. So I'm going to show you the updated version. All right. I'm a minimalist at heart. I can't have extra nonsense in my consoles. So if you're like me, stay tuned. All right, so this is Visual Studio Code and we're looking at the terminal right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much run the same code that we had in our last video and show you what we did last time. The issue that is at hand. So what we can do is come up to hit run and we'll just run without debugging. And our print statement is going to spit out rise and shine. But after all this nonsense, look at that path. Who cares to see that, right? I don't need this in my life. All right, so what we want to do is move to the command palette. And we're going to type in launch and you're going to want to select open launch dot Jason. That's what we did last time, right? Now the thing that we also did is we came over here to the value for console and previously we had typed in none, but now that's changed. I guess the Visual Studio Code people didn't like using none here and they wanted to be somewhat consistent with the other values that you could enter here. And so <laughs> they just got a little bit more consistent. So last time we had an option for external terminal, integrated terminal, and none. But now they changed it to internal console. So I think that essentially does the same thing as none. It definitely gives us our output that we want. So when we choose this, I mean, honestly, look at it. It says internal console, but it should say debug console because that's what it's going to actually be using. So we're going to choose this and I'll go ahead and save my change that I've made here. We'll hop on over to our code and let's now clear the console and run it again. When we skip over to the debug console, that's where the output is. Boom, look at that. Let's do it again. And change this to rise and shine now. Run that. There you go. So that's it. Sorry it took me so long to create an updated video. I know some uh, people like mentioned the solution in the comments, but not everybody was saying it. And I actually had somebody saying, please set, set up another video that shows us how to correctly do it now. So this is it. This is my answer to the people. Quick reminder, if you appreciated this video, definitely seize that like button. That's right, I said seize. I'm not gonna say smash and like like everyone else does. I'm gonna try to use a different term. Seize it, hold it, caress that like button the way that it wants to be caressed. And uh, if you wanna get notifications of more videos coming out by me, seize caress and hold that bell the way that it needs to be belled, the way that a bell was born to be held. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a short video, but straight to the point. And if you have other ideas of videos that you'd like me to put out, definitely mention that in the comment. Let me know. 
I have some ideas myself, but I want to get some feedback from you guys. Right now, I'll be putting out, well, in the future, I'll be putting out some more coding-related videos for courses that I'm going to be putting out, but definitely want to hear your feedback. So that's it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.